only in trouble. In the Jungle Book by Ruel Kipling, a little boy named Mongli is adopted by a family of wolves and brought up in the jungle. Balu the bear teaches Mongli the way of the jungle and Bagheera the black panther protects him. One day, the bandalog or the monkeys kidnapped Mongli and took him away to the cold liars. Here on to see how Balu, Bagheera and others save Mongli from the bandalog. Balu, the bear, was delighted to have Mongli as a pupil. The boy could climb almost as well as he could swim and swim almost as well as he could run. Balu taught Mongli how to tell a rotten branch from a good one. He taught him how to speak politely to the wild bees. He explained how to warn the water snakes in the pools before Mongli splashed out down among them. He also taught Mongli the stranger's hunting call. This call must be used whenever anyone hunts outside his own ground. It means, give me permission to hunt here because I am hungry. And the answer is, hunt then for food but not for pleasure. From the branches above, the bandalog would watch Mongli learn and play. They watched his nimble fingers make things out of twigs. They found him to be very wise indeed and wanted him in their tribe. Then Mongli would share his skills and wisdom with the Bandalog. They believed that he could lead their group. The monkeys loved his idea because they wanted everyone in the jungle to be envious of their tribe. So, one day, as Mongli slept between Balu and Bagheera, they whooped down on him. A group of them lifted his arms and legs and carried him away. The next thing Mongli remembered was feeling hands on his legs and arms, hard, strong little hands. Then, some branches swished in his face. Balu immediately woke up the jungle with his deep cries. Monkeys were taking Mongli away. Bagheera growled and tried to run up the tree trunk. The bandalog howled with tramp and leaped higher to the upper branches. Bounding and crashing and whooping and yelling, the whole tribe of bandalog swept along the trees with Mongli as a prisoner. Mongli realized that it was useless to look down from he could only see the top of the branches. So he stared upwards and saw Run the kite flying in the blue sky. He decided to cry out to Run for help. Oh, brother Run, observe where they are taking me. Mongli shouted to Run. Tell Balu and Bagheera where they are taking me. Run nodded and observed the path of the bandalog. After a few minutes, he flew away in search of Balu and Bagheera. Meantime, Balu and Bagheera were furious with rage and grief. How could their, the monkeys snatch their dear Mowgli from right under their nose? They need a plan to get Mowgli back. Balu thought hard and then said, the bundle of fear car, the rock python. He can climb as well as they can. He steals the young monkey in the night. They are afraid to even whisper his name. Let us go to Ka for help. We will promise him food in return. When they found Ka, he was stretched out and licking his lips as he thought of his dinner to come. Good hunting, greeted Balu. 
All creatures in the jungle greeted each other thus. Good hunting for us all, Ko answered. Balu, what are you doing in this part of the jungle? It is the bundalog that we follow, said Balu. Those nut stealers and pickers of plum leaves have stolen away Mowgli. Help us get our friend back, said Bagheera. And we will repay you this favor. Even as he spoke, they heard the fluttering of wings. Run the kite landed beside them and said, I have seen Mowgli among the bundalo. He asked to me to tell you, the bundalog has taken him behind beyond the river to the coal layers. Thank you, Run," said Bagheera. "I will remember your repay and uh, remember you and repay this debt." Having delivered this message faithfully, Run the kite flew away as swiftly as he had come. Balu and Bukhira looked at each other with concern. The cold layer, layer, an old deserted city, lost and buried in the jungle. It is half a night's journey. If I go at full speed, Bukhira, I am quicker than you. Let me hurry up, and you may follow me, Balu. Balu nodded. He knew that he could not run as fast as Bagheera could. Bagheera hurried forward. Ka, the huge rock python, went away with him, saying, "I'll teach you those. Mon- I will teach those monkeys a lesson." In the cold lairs, the monkey people were very pleased with themselves. They joined hands and danced about. They sang the foolish songs. One of the monkeys made a speech and told his companions that Mongol's capture marked a new thing in the history of Bandalog. He said that Mongol would show them how to weave sticks and cans together as protection against rain and cold. So Mongol picked up some creepers and began to walk. them in and out some of the monkeys tried to imitate mongli but soon they lost interest and began to pull their friends tails and jump up and down on all four legs mongli saw that they were not only interested in learning anything The tribe would always be silly and foolish. While the bandalog screeched and made mischief, Ka and Bagheera reached the coolers. They observed the cows from afar. Alvin got on a small cobra's foot and attacked them from there. I. Shall go to the terrace where they have kept the boy," said the Bagheera. By then, I was dark. It was dark. Bagheera's light feet hit the terrace. None of the monkeys saw him at first. Swiftly, he struck several monkeys in his path. The monkeys began to fight back. He's alone. Kill him! Kill! They screamed. A scuffling mass of monkeys, biting, scratching, tearing, pulling, close over Bagheera. Few of them dragged Mowgli away and trapped him in another room. Bagheera and Mowgli were both surrounded by monkeys. They needed help. Suddenly, a growl pierced the air. Bagheera, I am here. It was Balu. He had reached. He ran over the monkeys that surrounded that had surrounded Bagheera. He attacked them fiercely. Meanwhile, Ka made his way to monkeys from the other side. A python four or five feet long can knock a man down if he hits him fairly in the chest. 
and Carl was 30 feet long. His first trick was delivered into the crowd around Balu. There was no need of the second trick. The monkeys scattered with cries of Ka! It is Ka! Run! Run! Ka was everything that the monkeys feared in the jungle. None of them knew the limits of his power. None of them could look him in the face and none had ever come alive out of his hug. And so they ran away terrified. Balu and Bagheera were relieved. They immediately fled Mowgli from the room where he was trapped. Mowgli thanked them both and asked, Are you hurt? It is nothing, the brave creatures replied. There were wounds on their arms and legs, but these would heal quickly. Mowgli then turned to Ka and said, We are of same blood. I owe you my life tonight. My kill shall be yours if you are ever hungry, O Ka. I have some skills with my hands. If you ever caught in a trap, I shall come to your aid. Python dropped his head lightly on Mowgli's shoulder. You are a brave and respectful, but now, so, but now, go quickly with your friends. Go, go and sleep, for the moon sets and it is late now. Now, said Bagheera, jump on my back, Mongli, and we will go back home. Mongli laid his head down on Bagheera's back together. They all made the way back towards their home. As Bagheera carried him, Mowgli slept so deeply that he didn't wake up even when they all reached the home cave. Thank you.